Hey, oh goodness, that sounded kind of rough. <laughs> uh, take two. Hey, friends. Um, I've been asked a couple of times how I keep my palette for a week or two. So if I'm painting, say, this rooster back here and I get interrupted, how do I keep my paints from drying out? So I'll show you what I do. So I think, well, actually, the first palette I used right in the beginning was just an old plastic lid. Um, I think it, I think there was butter or margarine that was in here. Um, I would just put some paint out on there and then, you know, paint whatever I'm working on, but I didn't know how to save it. And I wasn't doing a very long painting back in those days, but you could, um, I don't have an example with me, but you could like save those little ketchup, um, little plastic cups that like you can put, dispense some ketchup in, or um, if you have a bigger puddle of paint, this is just a sour cream container. So you put it over the blob of paint and then I would even sometimes put a weight on it just to kind of keep it down, keep the air out of it. Um, that could work. I've done that with a disposable. So this is a disposable palette. I really like them because you can just rip off. It's, it's like wax paper and you can just rip it off. Oops, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I hit my video arm. So I've scribbled on this one. But you can just rip it off. I keep trying to show you and I can't get it. There we go. Rip it off and throw it away when you're done. And then if I had a blob of paint on here, I would use this and cover it up best I could. And then I would just put a little weight on it just to seal it up a little bit better. Um, that would work for a couple days. I don't know if that would work for a week or two. Um, because... I just think that it, it just isn't that tight, tight of a seal. So then I moved to, I think I saw somebody else on YouTube doing this. I moved to styrofoam plates. And actually you might want to buy a little nicer styrofoam plate. This one's kind of, this one's kind of flimsy, but I just double it up and that works. But it's not quite so, so like if I'm, you know, mixing paint on it, it's not quite so flimsy when I have two of them. And then I just use them again until they're, you know, they've got too much paint on them. Um, and then I have one. This palette was sitting uh, in the corner of my studio right behind where I was first videoing. And I thought I was going to use it again. But I haven't. And it's been two and a half weeks. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. Um, it was just some white paint that I was saving. So, oh, it's still pretty good. It's a little dry. So what you could do is I have a little spray bottle. You can mist it and then just kind of work the water in. Eventually it just doesn't work anymore, but you can kind of work some water into it and it'll still be good. This puddle is just um, has matte medium in it and it actually is still fine. It didn't need any water. So what I do is before, as I go, um, I missed my paints. Like right now it's winter. Um, we woke up this yesterday morning and it was minus 23 degrees was the air temperature. So then um, you would, it would, the paints would definitely dry out fast is why I'm telling you that. But so when I'm done painting, I would just miss my palette like that. I put another uh, plate on top. And it makes it kind of, it, well, for one thing, it keeps it off the plastic bag, but it also makes a little bit of a terrarium. But mostly it just keeps it off the plastic gallon bag. I stick it in and I just zip it up tight. And I, re, I reuse these bags. You can see there's a paint blob in there. So if I wasn't using this for a week, I might open it up, back up, mist it, and then close it back up. But I've had this work for two to three weeks, just depending on the conditions in your studio. So these styrofoam plates, I don't think they're good for the environment, which a lot of artists, which is awesome. A lot of artists are concerned about that. 
Um, I am too. And yet I need some sort of way to keep a palette in case I get sidetracked, life happens, and I can't get back to painting for a week or so or two. Um, and I need it small. And I also quite often have more than one painting going on at a time. You saw the two behind me. They were finished, but one of them needed uh, varnishing. I just finished this painting. And so I, I usually have a couple palettes going at the same time. So that's convenient for me. I've thought about using a Stay Wet palette, which would be great and probably, and I'm sure, much more environmental friendly. If any of you, you, you guys have used a Stay Wet palette, let me know what you think of them. Um, I think they work quite well. I've never used one myself. I would think they'd be more environmental friendly. Um, I'm a fan of, as long as we're speaking about the environment, I clean off my brushes and knives as much as I can on a paper towel so that my water stays quite clean for a long time and I'm not dumping very much paint water down the sink. So, but anyway, um, this is how I keep my palettes over a period of time so that I can finish a painting. And if push comes to shove, I've left out what colors I'm using um, on my light table or on my cart next to my easel. So if I need to remix a color, you can get it really close. Um, and if you can't get it as exact as you want, you just bring that color into other parts of the painting to unify it. You know, say I couldn't mix this exact orangey color, you know, but I could mix a pretty close color. Well, I can just put another layer and just put it in other places on the painting. No one has to know if you can't remember the exact color mix. <laughs> just a little, another little tip there. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you save your palettes so you don't feel like you have to rush through a painting. You can take your time with it. I really appreciate all you subscribing. Um, that's just been so fun for me. The comments are super fun. It's so nice of you guys when you share. Great big art hugs. I hope to talk with you soon. Bye, guys.